Before using the Xero integration, we first need to establish the connection with your Xero account. To do this, we go to integrations and add integrations. We then need to authenticate the integration with Xero. Once here, you can enter your own email and password for your Xero account. And then authorize the access for the integration. Once this is authenticated, it will say so. And then we can set up the other relevant information on daily sales, the daily upload, the purchase invoice upload, and send purchase invoice to zero. Once this is confirmed, we can then go to the mapping section and then enter for the specific site all of the nominal codes that need to be assigned to from the EPOS system, such as the service charge, all of the product types, so food, beverage, other, service charged, and any unassigned types. If you cannot find the nominal code you're looking for, we can type in the nominal code and it will populate below. We also can reference our tender types and allocate that to a zero account. And finally, you can add the VAT rates that are assigned to the tax rates in zero. Once this is done, we can save the mapping and the integration is ready to go. In this video, we're going to show you how information is sent from the Tavalis stock system into zero. Once selected the Valley Stock System, if you navigate to Purchase Orders, you can then see that you have a completed purchase order and a supplier associated. We need to ensure that that supplier is connected to the Zero contact list. Once connected, we can confirm. We then navigate back to the purchase order that has been completed. We can then view the purchase order. We can then select send to zero. We then need to ensure that the invoice number is correct and that any associated taxes and charges are allocated correctly. We then can input the invoice date and the payment due date. Once we are happy with all the information that has been inputted, we could submit the invoice to Xero. Once this is submitted, if we navigate to Xero, you can then see in your purchases section that the invoice posted from Tavalis is present. Once happy with the invoice, we can then approve that purchase. And then once this has been sent to Xero, the zero icon will appear. Every day Tavalis posts sales into zero through the Z report. If we go to our accounts of pit and sales, if we look at the paid in section, you can see that the Z report has been posted by the EPOS system. This is done on a daily basis. The information that is captured is all of the relevant product types in the system or gratuity and service charge.